Hey folks, Brennan here with Tinker Gaming, and today we are going to play a little bit of Binding of Isaac. I am so amazing at Gungeoneer, and I so much love those randomly generated roguelike dungeon crawler bullet hell games that I decided it'd be a great time to play some Binding of Isaac. Um, in reality, they just came out with the next and I believe final update for Binding of Isaac. So I haven't played this game since the original Binding of Isaac came out. Since then, there was Binding of Isaac Rebirth, I believe, and then there was the Afterbirth DLC, and they just released the Afterbirth Plus DLC. It was all sitting there, taunting me, tempting me, staring me in the face, so I decided I'd give it a shot and play. Like I said, this game is very similar, I believe, to Gungeoneer, or rather, Gungeoneer is very similar to this game, in that it's a, a roguelike where you go through the floors and, you know, kill the enemies and try not to get killed yourself. So, hopefully I can do a little bit better at this than I do at Gungeoneer. So we will jump right into it. Um, we don't have any mods, we don't have any challenges. We're just gonna do a new run. Who am I? Isaac, what do we have? Magdalene. I don't have any of these people unlocked, so it doesn't really matter. We will be Isaac. Normal, hard, greed, greedy. We're gonna go with normal until I get a little bit used to the game. Move. Attack. I don't have anything to attack. All right, let's go, let's do this door. An eyeball, the inner eye triple shot. How do I? Oh God. Apparently I can drop bombs. I don't actually know how to attack it, tell me. Okay, arrow keys, arrow keys. Let's do it. Die, creepy baby person. Oh, this is gonna take some getting used to. Normally, I'm used to using a mouse for these type of things. Oh, how do I? How did it say I dropped a bomb? What are my buttons? What is life? One of the mouse clicks. All right, I guess that just gets to stay there then. Yeah, put out the fire. Oh god, the fire shoots at. Me. This is a really weird gun. Really weird gun that I have got. No! Oh, oh damn it. The chest just hurt me. No! You can't kill me, stupid fire. How do I... Huh. Okay. No idea how to open that. I probably can't place a bomb because I don't have any more bombs. That would do it. Alright, there was another room back here. The other room to the right of the room I was just in looked kind of like a boss room. Okay, apparently this is the boss room. I was wrong! I was so wrong! I'm sorry! Come at me, bro. Well, so far, this game's a little tamer than Gungeoneer. Gungeoneer, the very first floor in the first level. What was that? What are the edges? Oh, Range oh. down. I have no idea what I'm doing. I guess Q is use item. All right, I didn't remember that. Maybe that wasn't a boss room. Maybe that was like a mini boss. This is the boss. Isaac versus the Ragman. Yeah, definitely. You can see where Gungeoneer draws his inspiration from, but at the same time, oh my God, his head just came off. It's not okay, man. It's not okay. Oh, uh, did his head just turn into another freaking spider? Um. Anyway, as I was saying, the Gungeoneer definitely draws his inspiration from this, but at the same time, this is kind of ah, damn it, kind of completely different. Uh, the fact that you can only shoot in linear directions, or rather in four directions, I guess all directions are linear, but four directions rather than uh, having six degrees of freedom or whatever, is definitely a change. Come on, man. All right, if I let him get a little closer to me, I can hit him with all three of my childlike tears, but I run the risk of him running into me just like that. Damn it, quit making spiders with your head. It's weird. I don't like spiders. And I really don't like creepy mummy head spiders. No. No. Die. 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 A little overwatch there. I don't sound anything like the guy that doesn't treat it, but it's a fun game. Oh god, there's so many! Ah! No! 
This is not acceptable. No! I'm not even gonna make it to the first boss, am I? Stupid head spider things. Don't make another one! Maybe if I just kill him and forget about the freaking spiders, it'll work. But he's spawning some- ah, damn it, there I died. I died. Dear Diary, today I died. Today I died. I was killed by this thing in some basement. I leave all that I own to my cat, Guppy. Goodbye, cruel world. Alright. Definitely. Definitely a hard game. I was wrong. I shouldn't have said what I said about. Um, shouldn't have said what I said about it being easier than Gungeon here. Alright, those are. Alright, so if I. If I blow up. The, oh, I don't have to blow up this. I could just shoot right here. Bombs and a key. I don't know how to use that chest, but I can drop a bomb right there. Yeah, I get another key and some more coins. What do these batteries do? I kind of want to use a bomb on the chest. Oh god! Ah, these things are freaky. I kind of want to use a bomb on the chest, but at the same time, I don't want to like use it and then not have it when I need it later. So I think we'll save the bombs for right this second. God, it's really hard to hit these freaking guys. Only being able to shoot in one of the four directions. Or maybe I'm just really, really bad at playing this game. Probably that option, honestly. Yeah, what am I talking about? I'm amazing at this game. See those mad skills? Uh, those guys aren't dying. Okay, I just have to kill all the hit. So All right, so we got coins. I'm assuming there's some kind of shop in the game? I don't know. There's there's one in Gungeoneer. And sorry if I keep talking about Gungeoneer, I'm probably going to draw a whole lot of parallels to that. All right, that's the boss. Just because, you know, I've been playing Gungeoneer. And I played Gungeoneer much more recently than I played this, so... Gotta talk to it there. Which, I guess, in the Gungeoneer series, I actually talk about Binding of Isaac a lot, too, so... There's there's definitely strong ties between the games. This one doesn't seem quite as fast... Alright, did that... Will that heart stay there? I don't know. What the hell is that? Is that a black hole that's spawning explosive spiders? That is unacceptable. Alright, bombs, coins. Unlock the door. I didn't want to donate anything. Why did I do that? Can I, can I shoot you? Okay. Yeah. That was a useless shot. Alright, don't get the heart yet because I don't need it. Oh no, more invincible. Those guys. Ah, damn it. Now I need that heart in the other room. There we go. Uh, actually, we'll save it just in case. Because it's a full heart, and I've only lost half a heart, so... What's this? Data miner. How do I use this? Is there, like, a... Controls? Options. Nope, there's not, like, a controls button. I wanna... What the shit just happened? Everything just went really weird. Spacebar is what I hit, by the way. I guess that's how you use the data miner. Um, all right, we're gonna try a bomb on this chest just because I want to see if it like blows it open if there's anything inside of it. It did. See, and I got a bomb out of it. No loss, just gain. All right, time to fight the boss, Larry Jr. Worms it. Ah, negative. I dislike this. I dislike this greatly. They keep like pooping and blocking my way. Bomb you! Oh, that was great! I'm gonna do that to the last boss. Probably because I didn't have any bombs. Alright, so I can get some curve on my shot if I'm like moving to the side when I uh when I shoot, but not really enough to bomb, bomb, bomb. Oh yeah. People are probably gonna be screaming at me like, no, you should save all of your bombs. Yeah, beat the hell out of that one. That's a pair of underwear. Mom's underwear range up. Ugh. 
Poor little kid sitting there crying. Aw, he peed himself in front of the girl he liked. Basement 2. Arcade? Can I- Oh! <gasps> cool. Oh. Let's pull the slot machines. I got a key out of that one. Got nothing out of that one. Nothing out of that one. Can I do it again? Yeah. Nothing. A pill. And a half a heart. Um. Tears down. I don't know what that means. Okay, let's think about this. Um, I can put a bomb there and get another bomb, but it doesn't really help me, so I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Those guys look nasty. Oh, I think my fire rate went down. I think that pill I used was bad. Ah! I love how everything just like explodes into a gory mess. Hey, I got another bomb. All right, I got a key. Let's go in here. What's this? Varicose veins. I look pretty messed up right now. Um, I want that chest, but it will use my last. Oh god, they're like little tiny bodies. This game is so weird. I think it's supposed to be symbolic, like Contra of Imagery. Uh, there was a little cutscene when I first launched it. I forget the overall story. Something like, my mom's crazy and thinks she's hearing the voice of God and God tells her to lock me in the basement or something like that. Um, and apparently, there's some weird stuff in the basement. Alright, tears down. I don't want to use that again. I don't like that one. It made me shoot slower. And I like shooting fast. Why is that one red? Oh God, there's a lot of them. What? I hope these aren't all like her weird deformed kids that she's been having and throwing down in the basement because there's a lot of them. If, if that's the case, oh, oh Jesus, ah, that almost got me. Uh, yeah, if that's the case, then I'm a bit busy, if you know what I mean. I love that I'm shooting tears at them. The tears sustain. Alright, these guys are pretty busy, so. They just throw out these random footballs. All I gotta do is dodge those, that's fine. It's definitely slower paced than Gungeoneer. Gungeoneer's like... Well, it's bullet hell. I wouldn't call this bullet hell. Um, maybe it's got some elements of it, but there's not just an obscene number of projectiles on the screen at one time. It's, it's more... Ah, uh, ah, uh, bomb, no. It's more about just like planning and being aware of where you are in relation to the world. And make sure you don't get locked in. What is this? I don't know what that is. I want a key though. How do I get in there? Right, it's gonna take me two bombs to get to that stuff. Is it worth it? I don't know what they are. We're gonna do it though. I got like an extra shield heart or something. Alright, that one. Puberty. Oh god. And this one. No, not tears down. Amnesia. And my map's gone. Freaking great. That's just absolutely wonderful. Ugh. And I'm out of bombs. Which means I can't get to this chest right here, which means I can't use the key that I have. Well, this is turning out to be a great run. Let's see. Little Horn. Oh god, he like teleports. I dislike this. Oh, and heat seeking vomit smoke projectiles. Ah, he got hit by his own bomb. This is weird. But he keeps. He's just about killing himself, so he's kind of doing my work for me. Which is okay with me. So yeah, like I said, I haven't played this game since it originally came out. Um, Afterbirth Plus is the DLC that just came out, which added the, uh, I think the greedier mode or greediest or whatever the end difficulty was. From what I've read, it's actually, a lot of people are complaining about it because they say it just really artificially ups the the difficulty by like the item rooms not giving you an item and, and enemies just being that much harder. You get like less coins or something like that. 
Oh, I killed him. That's all I gotta do now. I didn't even get hit. God, I'm amazing at this game. So I don't know. I, I don't know the full details. Like I said, I I, I didn't read too much. Uh, monster monstros tooth. What did that say? Magic scab HP plus luck up. It said like it has appeared in the room. I don't know if that means like it's somewhere on this floor. Let's let's explore real quick just to find out. The half part. Huh. Yeah, anyway, like I said, I know some people are complaining about Afterbirth Plus. Um, I think right now it's sitting at mixed reviews on Steam, but you gotta take those with a grain of salt. You know what, I only have one coin left, let's donate it. I don't know if you get anything for donating, but I'm a nice guy, support charity. All right, there doesn't appear to be the tooth here, so we're just gonna go ahead and go to the next floor. I feel like I'm doing good this floor. I. Uh, we got Amnesia, which sucks because my map's gone. Down the hole. Floor 3. Candy. Eat candy. Vomit blood because I swallowed a razor blade. Of course. Caves, level 1. What is this? It's got like a little sword on it. Ah! No! What the shit just happened? I just like this. Oh, I get it. I can attack the fire because I'm shooting tears at it. No! Ah! No! Ah! That was weird. These bombs got me. They took my little shield heart. Which sucks, man. I like having more health. Um, I did. The thing I got for beating the boss gave me HP up, though, so... Yo, me. I mean, I got four hearts now instead of three. Oh god, they got back up. How do I kill them? Oh, do I have to like hit them while they're putty? Yes, apparently I just have to hit them a lot. That's hard to kill. Finally. No, and now there's more little... Ah! Why is it doing this? I love the music in background, though. That kind of chunky, chunky riff. All right, when I get hit, I, like, shoot tears everywhere. I think that's the varicose veins. The description for the varicose veins was I'm thinking. So I'm assuming that's what it is. It might be the scab, though. I don't know. The scab is what gave me the extra HP. I don't know if it had, like, a secondary... Honestly, I didn't really bother reading. Um, I don't know if they had a secondary effect on it or not. And I, I have no idea what all the items are in this game. I think there's like hundreds of different items at this point. It's all random about when you'll get them, if you'll get them, and what you'll get, etc, etc. So. Oh my god, more? Apparently this was like combat room. That's, that's probably what the little sword above the door stood for, is combat room. Which makes sense. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. Go, Joe! I should really pay attention to what I'm doing. Um, anyway, like I said, I know there's probably a bunch of people out there that have played this game a billion times and are like yelling at me and cussing at me that, you know, oh my god, you should have done this and this and this, and you'd have had so much easier time if you did this. I think there's it's like down to the point where like, oh, if, you, if on the first floor you get this item, you might as well just start over because it's impossible to win or something. I don't know. I don't prescribe all that stuff. I just like playing the game, even if it means I die. Horribly all the time. What does this one give me? Oh, another shield. Oh, so I actually gained a half a shield heart for doing that. That works out well. Yeah, I don't I don't follow the whole like min maxing mentality that a lot of games, especially games like this, tend to have. Um, I just like playing it. I like challenging myself to see if I could do it. I like dying in horrific fashions because I can't do it. It's just good fun. I love little games like this, even though, like I said, I'm extremely, extremely terrible at them as evident by my playthroughs of Gungeoneer, but I feel like I'm doing okay in this one, actually. What does the battery for? Does it recharge my little pickaxe thing? Oh god, more of these guys. I wish I had a better tier thing.
Oh. Again, I don't know if I have to hit them when they're putty or if I just have to keep hitting. No, 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 no. Come on, die, damn it. Why do you have so much health? Alright, he's dead. One left. I can do this. I lost all my shield hearts, but whatever. This is what it is. There we go. Got him. Look, another another battery. Let's. Oh god, everything's on its side when I use that. Why? Why is that a thing? I don't like that anymore. Look, my bullets do like weird things. My controls do weird things. It's like it glitched the game out. All right, I just like the data miner. I'm not gonna use it anymore. I don't know, it might be like the best item in the game, but I can't tell what the hell is happening. So my fire rate's a little improved, maybe. What is happening? It's so weird. My bullets aren't doing what they're supposed to. I like hitting invisible walls and crap. The music got all weird. Yeah, the data miner sucks, guys. That's my professional opinion. No, 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 no. That one just shot a lightning bolt. It's kind of cool that I like the, the whole random effects thing. But at the same time, it's extremely freaking annoying that I can't hit these guys because the data miner is messing my stuff up. Ah, damn it. There he is. I've lost like a lot of health in this room. Because of the freaking data miner. I blame it all on the data miner. If if I fail this run and don't like beat the game, it is 100% because of the data miner. I think like things aren't where they're supposed to be. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's go back in here. We'll get the batteries. Yeah, I see the battery charges my data miner back up. Okay. Everything is back to its proper place. Thank God. That was terrible. Alright, item room. Dead Sea Scrolls. What just happened? Hearts! And shells. I don't know what they do. We're gonna destroy them. Does this thing just like teleport me to a room full of parts? Ow. Alright, we can know over here. Cause if so, it's amazing and I love it. Oh no, it looks like it just teleported me to a random room, so. Cause if you notice I'm still in the thing. Hey, my amnesia's gone, I just noticed that. I don't know if that's temporary or... Alright, I need to destroy those freaking black holes because it's spawning more enemies and that's not a good thing. No, bat, no! Damn it. Oh, uh, this is bad. There's so many. I can't keep up with them all. I'm starting to like corner me and shit. Destroy the black hole. Doom. Alright, one down. Two down. Alright, now I just gotta kill what enemies are there. Without dying horribly. All the health that I got in the Dead Sea Scroll room is now gone. This room sucks. I think I'm through the worst of it though. Of course I'm down to one heart, so... Yay. Do I still have to... I do have to still kill the body. You're supposed to die when I cut your head off. That's, that's the rules of the game. Yeah, I got a key though. Can I go back in here and get the hearts again? Yay! Hearts. What's in this room? Alright, shop guy. I don't have any money. I have not found any. He's different. He looks different. Are you changing? This is this is actually me. It's my ghost or my spirit astral projection plane thing. I don't know. I think my fire rate's starting to go up too. Or I don't know if this is like the default fire rate, the uh, tears down effect is just worn off. If so, I guess that means that my puberty's gonna wear off? 
I don't know. I don't know how the effects last. I don't know if they're temporary, if they're permanent, if some are temporary and some are permanent. I guess that would make sense. Like puberty, probably a permanent one. Tears down and amnesia, maybe temporary. So that makes a little sense. That's that's the idea that I'm going to go with. That's what makes the most sense in my mind. And until I hear otherwise, that is that's how it's going to be. That's the way truth works. Yeah. As long as you believe in it enough, that's exactly how it works. So how do I get to that stuff? Because I'm just going to fall to my death if I try to walk over it. Oh, God. No! What is this? What is this? This is not okay. There's so many. God. What's happening? Please tell me all those little stone things die when I kill these guys. Alright, I take back everything I said about this not being a bullet hell game. Oh, are these guys literally just going to keep uh, shooting? Damn it, I shouldn't have tried to get that hard. Do they not go away? Do they not die? Yeah, they're there permanently. That sucks. Oh, they like little ice cream guys. Die, little ice cream guys. Maybe they're like sentient poop? I don't know, those shells look like poop. Not actual shells, but poop. The dookie. Alright, big guy. Ah, he's got like this little dash attack, but it's not too bad. Oh! I say as he runs into me and takes what little hearts I have left. Come on, man. Kill these guys. Kill them. Kill them. Yeah. Oh, I got a coin. Yay. I'm so close to... Oh, Jesus. There's no way I'm going to survive this room. Oh, it's going to be bad. Oh, it's going to be real bad. And that guy's going to block all my shots, so I can't just, like, line these guys up. All right, get on this side. Get on this side. And shoot the hell out of them. All right. That's one halfway down. All the way down. Nope. Halfway down. Oh, uh, no, no, uh, half a heart. I could do this. I can still, I can still win. What happens if I use my, does it take me back to the room I was in? Hey, it's like a quick escape. I like that. And look, there's a heart in this room that I can't get to because it's on that island. What about the shop though? I've got, no, I've only got one coin. Damn it. I thought that I was going to like have some stuff to help me, but I was wrong because why would there be anything? Ugh. What the hell is that thing? That thing is ugly, whatever it is. It looks like a butthole or something. Hey, another coin. Two coins. This does me absolutely no good. This was the item room, right? It's the data miner if I want that back, which I don't. Have I explored over here? All right, that, yeah, that was the, uh, the fight room. I have no idea where the boss room is. I don't think I've found it yet. I really wonder how to get to those hearts. Are these mushrooms bad? Okay, mushrooms don't appear to be bad, so... No! I got trapped. I didn't pay attention to my surroundings. I didn't pay attention to the enemies. I was killed by this thing in some cave. I leave all that I own to my cat, Guppy. Cool stuff. Goodbye, cruel world, XOXO, Isaac. Well. Alright. That was a lot of fun. That being said, I think I'm going to leave this video here, guys. We'll pick it up next time. Hopefully get a little bit further. Maybe get down. I don't know how many floors there actually are or not. So hopefully we'll do better next time. But I'm going to leave this video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the like button down below. Drop a comment in the comment section if you want to chat. And don't forget to share and subscribe. And as always, until the next video, stay heavy, brothers.